So the finals will be between Perkins, Pervis, Voliakis, Watanabe, Wang, and Vinukurov. That's the run for runoff for one to six, which means Seltzer Tang, Jolet, uh, Matthias John of Germany, we didn't see. Um, Jun of Korea and Van Velteven will run off for the 7 to 12. This is the final 1 to 6 in the journey. Uh, coming around to pick them up. The gun goes off. They can take any order they want behind this journey. All they can't do is whoop, a little bit of a touch between, uh, I think, uh, Francois Pervy and uh, Awang. He wants that wheel of the dirty. The only thing they can't do is get their front wheel over the rear wheel of the dirty. They can't come any further forward than the very back of that little uh, guard on the dirty bike. A Wang looking in, in really, really good form in that last mm. round. He was very, 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 very fast. Very, very small, very compact rider. Uh, we're not going to write off uh, Pervis, you know, of, uh, he's the... The World Cup leader in this event, so we're not going to write him off. There's very, very fast guys in here. But Wang was looking really, really smooth and very confident in, in, uh, in his semi-final. So right at the back of the moment, it's Shane Perkins with Vinukorov just ahead of him. Voliakis, the small Greek rider in the blue and white, third from the back. In the middle is Francois Pervy of France. There he is. He's the World Cup leader. Ahead of him in the black with the yellow on the strip is Andre Vinukorov, who's in... Uh, uh, sorry, is uh, Watanabe. Oh, what am I talking about? Awang of Malaysia. And then right at the front is Watanabe of Japan. Shane Perkins is looking good, actually, in this particular World Cup. He's had uh, a couple of good outings already. And there's a, a number of riders on good form. But uh, as you say, Emma Awang doing exceptionally well there. The thing is to be able to produce it time and time again. Watanabe wanted to get that rear wheel of the Derny and made sure he did. And he's looking uh, a little nervous now because this Derny's going, got one more lap and it's going to peel off. Here he comes. The Derny is going to just move away from the rest of the track and it's now down to a three lap sprint there now Watanabe looking nervously over his shoulder a wang again everybody's looking backwards I think they all fear Vinukarov and see what's going to happen and Shane Perkins uh, Voliakis once again kicking hard from a long way out Pervy comes over the top Voliakis comes into his wheel the little Greek and now Perkins coming right the way over leaving himself a lot of work to do but look at the speed he's got he's got under the shoulder of Francois Pervy now it's Perkins and Pervy the two P's going for it Vinukarov is out of it at the moment but a wang high on the on the uh, Side, he throws his bike into the air, and I think Wang's got that again. And just as you said, Emma, he's in fine, fine form. That was a terrific piece of sprinting. Absolutely fantastic. He came from uh, quite a long way back. It didn't look like he was going to make it. It looked like he had really two big, big guys in front of him, and he had to come a long way around. And he got, he came sh in that straight. He really just powered down there with the speed and uh, and threw his bike. And what looks like it might be coming a customary. Uh, sort of gesture when he wins yeah it's a customary malaysian thing i think he's done it does it quite a lot but just look at this because i thought pervy and perkins did it particularly well i wonder whether pervy was slightly touched by voliakis there but look at the two really fast finishes vinukarov and awang i think uh, that uh, those two were the the dark horses the men to watch which is uh, we call it really so when uh, people uh, see the really so they remember me and it is just as you said it's becoming a trademark <laughs> so Wang takes the last uh, race of our little session here we'll be back a little later